Okay, so uh, it's October 2013, Falls Church, Virginia. Going to see if uh, I can find a uh, flying squirrel uh, living in a, in a birdhouse on my property here in the Lake Barcroft neighborhood of Falls Church. And uh, I've seen the flying squirrels here before and in other birdhouses that I have. And there's one birdhouse that uh, is of a configuration <coughs> that they, they seem to particularly like. And that, uh, that birdhouse uh, is this one right here. It's uh, put together in such a way that the squirrels can enter the birdhouse right next to the tree. So they don't, I think that the, they may prefer that. So I'm gonna tap on this birdhouse. There you see the hole where they're able to enter the, uh, the house. <coughs> right next to the, uh, this is a Virginia pine. I'm gonna tap on that uh, birdhouse with a stick and see if anybody's home. There's my stick. There he is. That is a flying squirrel. Let's see if we can get a better look at him. No. Well, doesn't seem to want to come on. Oh, there he goes. There you get a pretty good look at a flying squirrel right there. Let's see if he's, you can see his, uh, pretty good look at him right there. That's a flying squirrel. You can see his skin kind of stretched out there. I'm going to leave him alone and hope that he'll just go back in the in the house. I don't really want to scare them off. I like having these things around. Kind of fun to watch them every once in a while. You can see one at night. So I'm going to back away here and see what he does. They're uh, nocturnal creatures and it's about two and two, three in the it's about three in the afternoon right now, so I suppose he's been sleeping in there and uh hopefully he'll go back in. It's a beautiful fall afternoon here. Anyway, if you want to have flying squirrels around your place, you might put up a, a birdhouse like that. And uh, I think the key part is the, having the hole the right size, big enough so that they can get in, but not so big that uh, other squirrels can get in there and other creatures. And these flying squirrels aren't really much bigger than a chipmunk. Quite a bit smaller than your standard uh, gray squirrel. Well, anyway, he's staying put, so thanks for watching my video.